Riding the Pine, Understanding Sports Slang. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase from the world of sports, riding the pine. This phrase is not only interesting but also a great example of how language can be colorful and metaphorical. So, let's dive into what it means and where it comes from. Riding the pine is a phrase commonly used in sports, especially in American sports like baseball and basketball. It refers to a player who spends most of their time sitting on the bench rather than playing in the game. The pine in this phrase refers to the wooden material of the bench, which is often made from pine, a common type of wood. So, when someone is riding the pine, they are essentially spending a lot of time sitting on the bench. The origin of riding the pine is rooted in American sports culture. It's believed to have originated in the early 20th century. The term reflects the experience of those players who, despite being part of the team, don't get much playtime and spend games seated on the wooden benches, metaphorically, riding, them. This phrase aptly combines the action, riding, with the object, pine bench, to create a vivid image. While, riding the pine, started in sports, it has since moved into more general usage. It's often used to describe situations where someone is not actively participating in an activity or event. For example, if someone is part of a project team at work but isn't contributing much, a colleague might humorously say they're riding the pine. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. One. Despite being a talented player, Jenna has been riding the pine for most of the season. 2. I feel like I've been riding the pine in these meetings. I haven't had a chance to share my ideas yet. Riding the pine is a great example of how specific contexts, like sports, can influence language and create phrases that are both expressive and colorful. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of this phrase and how it's used. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and contexts they carry. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next language exploration adventure.